gem this rule. Hello there students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to interpret, explain, and perform the gemless rule, which are groupings, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction in solving two or more operations. Let us begin! Let's say your friend in Facebook posted this problem. How are you going to solve it? Do you have any idea? As we can see, this numerical expression has more than two operations. In order for us to solve this, we should follow the Gemdis rule. But wait! What is the Gemdus rule? Gemdus rules tells us the order of operation that we need to follow step by step. In order to solve a numerical expression with more than two operations, we need to follow the Gemdus rule. Each letter stands for a specific rule. The first rule is letter G which stands for grouping symbols. This means that we need to perform first the operations inside grouping symbols such as parentheses and brackets. The next rule is letter E, which stands for exponents. This means that we need to evaluate all numbers with exponents. After that, we need to multiply and divide. We need to perform multiplication and division as they occur from left to right. It means that if multiplication comes first before division, we need to multiply first. And if division comes first before multiplication, we need to divide first. Lastly, we have addition and subtraction. Same with multiplication and division, we need to perform addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right. It means that if addition comes first before subtraction, we need to add first. And if subtraction comes first before addition, we need to subtract first. Now let's try to solve our problem. As this numerical expression has more than two operations, we need to follow the Gemdis rule. The first rule that we need to perform is the grouping symbols. We need to look and find for grouping symbols in this expression. Very good! I can see parenthesis. This means that we need to perform the operation inside the parenthesis, which is 10 times 5. 10 times 5 is 50. Great job! Now let us copy the remaining expression. The next rule would be the exponent. We need to evaluate those with exponents. Here we have 3 to the second power or 3 squared. Let us evaluate this one. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. Now let us copy the remaining expressions. The next step is the multiplication and division. We need to perform multiplication and division as they occur from left to right. Since division comes first before multiplication in the given expression, we are going to divide first. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 
The next is multiplication. Let us multiply 2 and 1. That is 2. Very good. Now, since there's no more multiplication or division here, let's go to our next rule, which are addition and subtraction. We need to perform addition and subtraction as they occur from left to right. Here, we can see that addition comes first before subtraction. This means that we will add first. 50 plus 9 is 59. Now, we have our remaining, our last operation, which is subtraction. 59 minus 2 is great job. It's 57. Did you got the same answer? Awesome! Now let's have another example. We have here 2 to the third power divided by 4 times 5 plus 9. Let us solve this one using the Jamdas rule. The first is we need to look for grouping symbols. As we can see, we have 5 plus 9 inside parenthesis. Let us solve this one. 5 plus 9 is 14. The next would be the exponent. Let's take a look and evaluate numbers with exponent. Here we have 2 cubed or 2 to the third power. Let us evaluate this one. That is 2 times 2 times 2. And that gives us 8. The next is, we need to look for multiplication and division. Here, we can see that division comes first before multiplication. So, we will divide first. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Now, we have one more operation left, which is multiplication. 2 times 14 is 28. Wonderful! Since there's no more operation left, this is our final answer. Now let's have one last example. Again, we will use the gem distro. First, let's take a look if there are grouping symbols here. Can you see one? Yes, you were right. There's no grouping symbols that we need to perform. So let's proceed to our next rule, which is the letter E or exponent. Let's look if there are numbers with exponents in this expression. Great job! We have 3 to the 4th power. Let us evaluate this one. That is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And the value is 81. Good job! Now let's proceed to our next operation, which is multiplication and division. As we can see, we only have division, which is 81 divided by 9. So let us divide. 81 divided by 9 is 9. Now let's go to our final operation. We have one more operation left here, which is addition. So let us solve. 9 
plus 8 is 17. Since there's no more operation that we need to solve, this is now our final answer. Now it's your turn. Can you solve this one? Try this. Comment down your answer. Wonderful job, students. Now here are the things that you learned today.